I have to say, that's the most amazing story I ever heard. What amazes me most is you were taken in by it. I have to tell you guys something. Um, I had an insane dream. Wild. This, this was wild. It was an entire television show. It was a whole movie. It was fucked up. I, I, I'll t I'm gonna tell the whole thing. I gotta try to remember it though, because the thing about dreams... Is it- I, I wrote the whole thing down. It's about, I don't know, I said it was like a full page long. And this one, I- you guys are gonna think this one's funny because the, it has a really- it has a really interesting ending. I will be- I'm gonna give you a warning here. It's disgusting. It's gross. It's really gross. So I had a dream. I would tell you right now, this is disgusting. This is a very gross thing that happened. Your sideburns are uneven. I need a haircut. Sometimes when I shave, I don't- I like- I fuck it up, alright? Alright, this is actually a lot. That's really bad now that I look at it. That's like- that's pretty awful. Here, listen to me. This is really important. I had this dream. Me and Holly were on a road trip. This is like two different dreams that were connected for no reason. So me and Holly were on a road trip. We were like driving somewhere. And you know how in, in dreams, how stuff just gets kind of stitched together and you don't really know why. And we pull in and it's a car wash slash gas station. Okay, cool. So the idea was, okay, we're going to get out and they're going to they're gonna wash the car and whatever. I don't know why we decided to go to a, get a car wash um, in the middle of a road trip to some friend's house or something. So we get out of the car and it's like, okay, take the car. Sure, whatever. Go ahead. Go for it. Take it and wash it. And one of the workers, this guy had like a clipboard here. And I like went to go do something and Holly was like in the, uh, kind of in the business or whatever. And this guy, I don't, I, I don't know if he was like going to attack Holly. Like, I don't know why the employee was doing this. Like, I come back out, I think I was like maybe, I, I was outside for some reason. I come back in the establishment and this guy's like going to like attack Holly. So I, 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 I like got in the way and I like fucking pushed the guy. And he pushed me back, and I like shoved him with the clipboard, and his clipboard like hit him in the face, and I started fighting this fucking guy. I was like fucking punching him in the face, and we were fighting, just fighting each other. And the whole time, we're, this, this car is at the car wash, right? So, okay, whatever, <laughs> the car is like at the car wash. Splash! We're gone. We're not in the car wash anymore. We're outside the car wash. I don't know how it's stitched together. And we're looking for the car. And the whole time, like, the Holly and I are like, that guy was a, what the fuck was that guy's problem? That guy was a piece of shit. Yeah, I like kicked his ass. Like, wait, well, yeah, I fucking beat him up. Whatever, right? So I, I, I kicked this guy's ass. And we're looking around for the car. We can't find it. We don't know where it is. Eventually, we come to the termination after walking around the parking lot four or five different times. The car is gone. The car's gone. Somebody stole the car. Okay? Somebody stole the car. It's just not there anymore. So we had to start walking to my friend's house, whatever it was, so we started walking. As we're walking uh, down the sidewalk or whatever, some guy in like a trench coat and these like big like sunglasses, he was wearing these huge sunglasses, comes up to us. He's like walking kind of next to us and we're like, the fuck is going on? And this guy walks up to us and he goes, hey, hey, here, here, hey, spray me in the face with this. And he hands Holly this like aerosol can to spray him in the face. So we're just like, I don't, I, all right, man, you're gonna, will you leave us alone? Just leave us alone. So the, the guy, the guy's sitting there just waiting for Holly to spray him in the face. So she holds the nozzle up like this and is like pointing at him. And she goes, Shh, and sprays herself. It, it was, the, the guy was, it was a prank. The guy turned the nozzle the other way and she maced herself in the face. And she's like, Shh, uh, uh, and, and I'm like, what the fuck just happened? What the fuck? And the guy starts laughing. So I start fighting the guy. I like start, I'm like fucking, I fight this guy. I start punching this guy. I'm fighting this guy. Like I have to fight another person. I'm fighting another guy. She, Holly's over like on the sidewalk with like these like welling up in her eyes. Like I was like pepper. I don't know what the fuck it was. So I'm fighting this guy. And we get to a point where like we're wrestling around, like fighting each other. And we, th there was a side, like a drop down. We were on like a sidewalk and there was a lip and then another sidewalk, maybe like, I don't know. Maybe five feet, six feet lower. This guy jumps down 
to like get down to, to the other sidewalk. And I'm looking down at him. He's only like, remember, he's only like five or six feet below me. And I'm like, I'm gonna, I'll fuck this. I know what to do. So I like falling R1 the guy. Like that was gonna work in real life. So I like fall and like punch. And I like punch him in the head. And like I fucking get him. Like I knock this dude out. Two of his friends are like coming over. And I'm like, oh shit, this is bad. This is really bad. And they're like, oh yeah, fuck him. He's a fucking asshole, man. I'm just like, what? Like, all right. Flash again. This is where it gets weird. This is where it gets really weird. And I'm going to warn everybody. This is this is where it gets gross. We are at our destination, right? After that happened. We get to the destination. We're at my friend's house. And I really have to go to the bathroom. So we're, we, we get there. I go to the, their bathroom. And their bathroom is a bedroom. There's a toilet that's like five feet tall. The bowl is like up here. And it's like a bunch of porcelain going all the way down. Okay? So, all right. It's like, this is weird. Like, this is strong. Why is your bathroom a fucking bedroom? There's like a shelving thing over here. There's like a bed over there too. So I get like up on this huge like high. It's like, it was like a gigantic like high chair. It was like a big high. That's all the way I can describe it. It was huge. Like it was really high off the ground for no reason. So I get over there. <laughs> dude. I, uh, I, this is gross. I take a huge shit, right? I, I, I take a, a massive shit in this toilet. And I'm, I'm done. Okay, that's it. I'm done. I, it's time now. It is time. I told you this is going to be gross. I warned you like five times. So like I flush the toilet, whatever, and everything's fine. And I'm like, okay, it's time to, it's time to clean up, right? So I look over at the material that you use to clean up, which is the toilet paper. And... There, on this roll next to here, it was like right next to the toilet. The toilet paper roll had this stain on it. It was a stain. You know what I mean? And I was just like, I don't, uh, 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 I don't think so. So I kind of rolled it a little bit and the stain was there still, a little bit faded. Still there, a little bit faded, still. I'm like, I don't want to use this. I'm not using this. So I'm like, what the fuck do I do now? Uh, oh, I know. There, over on the shelf, on the shelf in this bedroom bathroom, was like a various sizes and shapes, different toilet paper rolls. Like some of them were kind of halfway undone. Some of them were wrapped up in like the hotel wrapping. So I'm like, all right, the hotel wrapping over there. I, I, that's, uh, that's the one. It's a fresh one. It's brand new, right? It's wrapped in like that, that hotel wrapping. So I go, uh, I, 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 I start to go up to go to where the toilet paper is but remember i don't know why dreams are like this don't ask me why please don't ask me why i don't i can't describe why this happens i was in the water up to here like like a fucking jacuzzi and i was like pushing up to get out of like the jacuzzi and like get, making it so my elbows were like on the bowl and like getting up because that's how i had to get out so I'm, I finally get up, I'm soaking wet, and I'm like out of the toilet, and I go over to grab this, like, I'm like, what the fuck am I going to do? So I grab this, this wrapped toilet paper, fresh toilet paper roll, okay? I didn't fall in, I was apparently already in it. So I, I get out, I unwrap the new toilet paper, and there's a fucking huge stain on it. It's a huge stain. Again, I was like, this doesn't make any sense. What the, something with the manufacturing this shit. What happened? This doesn't make any sense. Why is it like this? I don't get it. What the fuck? So I can't use this roll either. So I put that down. I I go over the, again, there are tons of, there's like five different rolls on a shelf over here. And I grab one of them. That's like kind of halfway done. But this toilet paper roll was like antique. It was falling apart in my hands. Like I would unroll it and it was like crumbling out. Like, like, like as if it was like antique. I was like, I can't fucking use this either. What the hell's going on? So eventually, eventually I get to a roll that I have in my hand and I'm like, this looks pretty good. There's nothing on it. There's no stains on it. It's not like weird crumbling in my hands, antique bullshit. I start to like get it over to where, remember I had just crawled out of the toilet. I get over to where the toilet is and like, it, it's kind of like oddly heavy. So I, the, the toilet paper roll kind of unrolls a little bit and then it unravels 
and hits the ground and starts rolling on the ground. And there is rolled up in the toilet paper like 30 to 40 thousand fucking dollars. It was where this person was like hiding money in their house. It was like they were hiding money here. Hiding it. I was like, oh my god, no, what the fuck? There was like a hidden money spot in your house? What the fuck? So I tried to, and then this is all this money. There was like other like little antique shit in here, right? There was like little antiques in it. There were like little trinkets like wrapped up in the money that was wrapped in the toilet paper. So I start picking up these like, this bundle of like just like it's rolled up money. It was like rolled like this. And I don't know what to do with it because no matter what I did, this was going to, I would never make it look the same way, right? Like, holy shit, man, this was wrapped up so perfectly. It's going to be a mess. They're going to know that I did that, right? They're going to know that something happened. So eventually, like, it, this unwrapped money, I, like, put it back on the shelf. It's all fucking crumpled up and all fucked up looking. So there's no way I did, there's no way I didn't touch it, okay? Finally, I get a t piece of toilet paper, like, a roll that is fine and it works. I bring it over and I realize that there's a gigantic window directly across from the fucking toilet. Like a huge bay window. And I was like, Whoa! what the fuck? Somebody could have seen this. What the, somebody could have seen me walking around like this? And like, the, who's, uh, could anybody, did anybody see, why would you have a window like this? Why would you have a huge bay window here? What the fuck is wrong with you? What are you, what's fucking wrong with you? So boom, I wake up, I wake up. And I'm lying in bed and I open my eyes and after this insane dream, I thought I shit my pants. I thought there was shit in my, in, in my like asshole, in my ass cheeks. So I'm sitting there going, I shit my pants. Like there's shit in my ass. So <laughs> and this is in real life. Like I'm lying there in real life going like, yeah, uh, yeah, this, I, there's, I shit, I, there's shit here. I felt it. I knew it. I was certain about it. So I get out of bed and I like waddle over. Like slowly, I, this is the slowest I've ever gotten out of bed. And I walk over towards the bathroom. And I go, and I like go to get the toilet paper. And guess what? There ain't no toilet paper in there. So, so I waddle across the fucking house. Just like, God damn it, no, it can't be real. And I waddle across the fucking house. And I get, go to where the toilet paper is. And I get into, I get into a private place. And I like do what I need to do, and I wipe my ass, and it's clean. There's nothing there. And this probably, I probably, I probably like slowly walked around the house like I had shit in my pants for like probably five minutes. Maybe like two, may, you know what, no, that's a lie. Maybe like two or three minutes total, but still that's like so long. And then I laughed, and I was like, well that was fucking wild, and I had a weird bad headache. I had a wicked bad headache, and I kind of still do. I don't know, man. Like, I just have these dreams that just become so fucking strange. And that was it. And I was like, oh, that was, like, ridiculous. So this is Later Alligator. It's a puzzle game, and we're going to have a great time playing. You and I.